All right, so I wanted to go ahead and look at self-intersecting surfaces and open-edged surfaces or naked-edged surfaces that have been exported from Rhino to SAT and imported into Revit. I've already got a couple of families set up. Um, I've imported the SAT into a conceptual mass family, and now I'm going to place it into a project so we can take a look and see what happens. This particular one has naked edges, so I'm going to load it into the project. I'm going to load it into this 64 by 64 Revit project. And it's going to say showing masses and then I'm going to place it right in the center and we're immediately going to get a warning where it says this has only mesh geometry which is a clue right off the bat that this thing is not a watertight form. can't be used to compute floors, volume, or surface area. So that's a clue that things probably aren't going to work out. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my level one floor plan. And you can see immediately that we're not getting a solid fill inside this section cut. And you can see right down into the model itself. Um, if I go to say section two, and let's go ahead and get rid of the far clipping. and let's shade it right you can see now that you are definitely seeing right into that model so the only thing to do is go back to Rhino figure out where the open edges or problems are fix them and re-import it okay so I'm gonna close this guy up and we don't need this guy anymore so here's the other model that I had um, that has self-intersecting surfaces. Um, I can go ahead and just real quickly take a look at that in Rhino. And so basically what you've got is this guy, right? So it's folding in on itself. So let's go ahead and so I've exported this as an SAT, put it in a conceptual mass. Now I'm going to load that into the project. And we're not getting any error messages so far, which is good. So escape, escape. So you can kind of see, though, where that happens. We're actually getting a blank in the line right there. Um, let's go ahead and go to level one. And you can see that it is, in fact, sectioning it. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our section two, I believe it is. And if we go to a shaded mode, everything looks pretty good. Um, if you get in a little closer on this, you can see um, that that is wrapping around itself. If I actually go back into hidden line and just go to thin line. Whoops. You can see that you're getting that sort of tail end there. Revit's calculating it, but man, it's having a hard time dealing with things that fold up and in on each other. You'll get disappearing lines and sometimes some odd shapes from it. So you'll just have to, we can deal with it later in Revit, or you can sort of simplify it in Rhino. You can see that that is actually folding up and in, and you're not really getting that in a hidden line, right? It's starting to sort of disappear on itself. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. And that's it.